Hi guys, got a little bit of a sandy project here. I'm in, in work, so I thought I'd just use the workstation and stuff and do some work. And I do some work on this axe. This is the Holter Force uh, HY20 felling axe. I meant to order the HY10 felling axe, uh, which is the same length. So perfect length for me, for an all round axe. Thing is, uh, it has a bit of a heavier head. This is 850 grams, which is about a pound and a third. And the one I wanted has a thousand gram head, which is a touch heavier, about two pound and two and a bit pound. So, and it has a squarer head, which is more suitable for like just sort of general purpose axe work, I think. But I thought rather than send this back, it was cheap enough. I got it from Henny Haynes for 45 quid, which is pretty good for Swedish steel made by Holterforce. Holterforce and Holtz Books are the same company. Um, one is more the premium line and one is more their sort of working line. This one is part of their Agdor line, which is an other old Swedish company that they bought years ago. And I believe Holtz Books, Holterforce are the, one of the oldest axe manufacturing companies in the world. So what I thought I'd do with this is turn it into Project Axe, maybe give, put it on my Instagram channel or on here as a giveaway, or just give it to someone as a gift. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna reprofile the head. I'm gonna take that down to a more slicey angle that some people have recommended, people in the know to me. Okay, we are gonna thin the handle. This is a great handle. It's a great handle. Hickory, of course, 66 centimetres, which is about 26 inches. But even for my, even for my monster killer hands, uh, Shrek hands, it's uh, bloody thick. I mean, it's next to impossible to get a grip up here. And this is just thick. So we're going to thin the handle down. It's a bit more usable. As I say, put an edge, thin the handle down. And we might even try to char burn the handle. I've seen that on a few people's videos. Um, I've seen Owen, he sort of chars that third, which is quite traditional. I think it's to harden the handle there. Looks quite good. I've seen Billy, Bucking Billy Ray, who hasn't seen him, and he chars the handle all over, pop the grain out before he treats it with oil. So, that's the plan today. We profile the head, thin the handle, possibly char, and then oil the handle. See how that goes, and let's get on with it. Okay, so I'll start out by showing you a few of the tools I'm going to use. Um, absolutely nothing fancy. Probably if you're a bushcraft outdoorsman, whatever, you've probably got all these anyway, ready to go. To thin down the handle, I'm going to scrape it down and file it down, but mostly scrape it down. For that, I'm probably going to use the sharp spine on the owl, the back of my Mora Garberg, great knife this, we handled for me by Dane of DG Knives, good mate of mine in Macedonia, but it's got a really nice square spine, comes like that from the factory, or if you're just using a knife that has a more rounded spine, like one of the other cheap Moras, which are perfectly good for this, uh, I have got a video on my channel about square, how to square the spine off nice and easy, nothing too clever, doing it with a Leatherman, and you could use that as well. And for finer cuts and just scraping it a bit smoother, I'm going to use a good old Oppenor. Nothing too clever there, huh? For the reprofiling, we've got a bunch of files. Fortunately, um, I could have done with a bastard file. I have ordered them that haven't arrived, um, so we're going to have to use this. They're second cut files, but I think we'll be all right. It'll just take longer. Okay, so I'm going to use the round part of that on the handle and the second cut to profile the blade. While I do that, I'll probably be wearing gloves. Yes, some people think it's a bit girly and wimpy, but what the hell, gloves. I'll even be wearing gloves when I oil it up. The handle, that is, which I'll be doing with some Danish oil but you can use boiled linseed oil, whatever your favorite flavor is. I'll also have some WD-40 of cleaning the blade. Various sandpaper for the handle and 
wet and dry for polishing the head after the filing. I may or may not do that. I may just leave it rough filed. And most importantly, coffee. Lots of coffee. Okay guys, let's get set up and we'll be off. Right guys, got the anks clamped down. Um, don't have a file here, uh, vice here at work, so I've just took two bits of old belt and screwed it down. It's pretty stable, I think. Um, I've put some tape on the eye of the axe. Um, it's going to be a working axe. It's going to get dinged up and marked up. But if I'm going to be giving this away then I, as a gift, then I don't want to mark it unnecessarily. I'm going to be using files to file the edge. From what I can gather, the best way to do it is lay the file on the eye on the edge and that's pretty much what you want to be angling angling for to get the nice geometry behind the cutting edge so it bites deep um, there's two ways you can do this you can grip it here and draw file it which is i think the safest way or you can get your gloves on and then push cut it i think i'll do a combination of the two first thing i'm going to do is mark The edge so I'm going to keep contact so I can see where I'm taking off material and where I'm not taking off material I don't want to get to the edge until I thinned out both sides and then I'll put a micro bevel on each side uh, I think current wisdom is this between 15 and 20 degrees and that approximately double just like a millimeter of micro bevel for durability so let's uh, start filing hard work with the second cut file you can see it's taking it off but god it's hard work this is good steel this old four steel is amazing um i should really waited until the good files i've ordered had arrived but they didn't turn up so i just wanted to get on and get this done i may stop and do it with the good files um if i keep going i'll show you how we get on mark the head up a bit here but to be honest I don't think that matters too much as I say it's going to be a working act I'll try and get the other side a little bit tidier because I'm a bit more practiced but it's all about function I guess now I've seen a couple of videos and apparently filing to a 20 degree is generally speaking on most axes about 1.5 millimeters back uh, centimeters back which is about there now this is a Swedish axe so it's a bit thinner so I think I might have gone a little bit far but I'd rather go a little bit far and get a bit more of a sharpie axe than have to come back and do it again I'm pretty happy with that side actually I mean, it's pretty much it leaves a pretty rough edge I think it looks quite a nice looking edge but obviously I should polish that so it looks a bit nicer for the finished result. Let's get back and do a little bit more, and then swap it over. Okay, I think I'm just about done this side. As I say, I marked it up a bit here, but this is actually, as rough looking as it is, it's really smooth, and I'm almost to the edge. I didn't quite want to get to the edge. I mean, even though I'm only on one side, this will chop now, and you know? Right, so, this is what we got. Let's swap it over. Do the other side. See if I can just do it a little bit tidier the other side. Okay, all I'm doing now, before I flop it over, I thought I'll give this side a bit of polish, take out some of those rough file marks, drink a lot of coffee. So at the moment I'm just using some 400 wet and dry on a block. I'll just do 4, 8. I might do 1200, but I'll probably just do 4 and 8. Just to get the worst of it off. So you just like this. follow the same angle as you did with the file. Drink coffee. And it's getting rid of 
those file marks. I don't want. I don't think it's going to go to a mirror shine or anything. Not that I need it. Although the Holter Force Premium line all come with that gorgeous mirror shine, which is more sort of like form than function, really. But let's go for a nice clean edge. Tidy up what I did with the file. As I say, this is my first time doing it this way. I don't normally use a file, so I think you can use all the tidying you can get. And this is very much a practice one for when I get some better ones in. Okay, guys. Okay, this is what we got after the 400. It's not very good light in here. So it's nice and cleaned up. A few little scratches, but that's all right. So I'm just going to hit it with the 800 to remove the scratches from the 400. And then we'll get on to the other side. Okay, flipped it over. We are now ready to do this side. So once again, I'm going to try and get it. Back to about 1.5 centimeters, about 20 degrees, without getting to the edge. Then I'll finish the edge after. Here we go. Got the technique a little bit better now. But this i to tip it up a bit more, just to use the draw method to mark where I've got to go. So I've got that line there, go along there. I've got to get my glove on. My grandkids or my kids see this, they'll be like, why aren't you wearing gloves? So, I'm going to get it back to about here, when I get nearer to that. I'll show you, and then we'll polish it up with the 400 and the 800 again. Okay, so I filed the other head the same. Didn't take as long, I guess, because I had to, knew a little bit more what I was doing. So, I'll say it's back to about 1.5 centimetres. So, I'm guessing that's, it's hard to see in this light. Guessing that's back to about 20 degrees. Once again, I'm getting a little bit of scuff in here. I think what it is, is there's a high spot here and on the other side in the same place. Because now I feel it, there's a slight concave there. It's very slight hollow. So I'm just going to hit that with a wet and dry, tidy it up, and then we'll see about putting a micro bevel on it. This thing is bloody sharp already. Bloody sharp already. I can imagine it's pretty cutty 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 but fragile so i think we'll put a micro bevel on there once we've tidied it up a bit but all in all i'm pretty happy with that okay so i've just got a block of wood with this is the 800 square wd-40 i'm just polishing off some of the lines i left with the file I'm trying to go in the same direction as the file I'll just do this for sort of five, ten minutes either side. I mean, I could take this to a polish, but I don't think I will. This is very much a learning thing. I'm all in balance. I'm pretty happy, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. First one. And this is only getting it. And once we do that, we'll put the mask on, tape it on so it's safe. And we'll start on the handle. So... So onto the handle, it's nothing scientific. What we're gonna do, and take my opinal blade, or I'll probably start actually with the back of my Mora Garberg, and we're literally gonna start planing it down. Okay, we'll start on the flats. It's gonna be quite a while, so I'll get this all started, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've actually discovered the easiest and best way to do this is to just jam it in edge of the bench on the floor. I'm kneeling on the floor. Take the back of my spine. It's jammed into my fat old belly there. Though I'm on a diet. Yay, Jason's on a diet. And then literally work it like a spoke shape. And it's amazing. 
the amount of material you can get off. So I'm going to keep working this down. I'm going to do 100 here, 100 here, 100 here, 100 up here. Then I'm going to work some out of here, some out of this side, and some out of this one. May round the palms well off, the fawn's foot, whatever they call it. I might take that in there a little bit more as well. But basically, I just want to get some of this bulk off. These Swedish handles. I think they make this. Uh, Spegberg? Smegberg? Smegberg. Yeah. I think they make all horse horses and maybe Grandpa's books is handle. So, I'll say 100 here. It's quite smooth actually. 100 up here, 100 there, 100 there. Keep going until I get it right. That way I can keep it for even, keep an even number of counts on what I'm doing. <laughs> Back of this moor is awesome. That nice degree spine. It comes out the factory like that. Just so useful. I mean, not just for bushcraft stuff like, you know, scraping tin to get that together, throwing sparks into it, you know, all that kind of stuff. But just for proper serious getting down to it work. This is great. This is a great knife. And I'm really liking this axe so far. Can't wait to get it out and try it. So, lots of okays. Okay, I'm doing this. Okay, I'm doing that. Right, so, I've got that pretty much low on it. I'd like it a bit thinner, but I've just been working on it far too long. So, I'm just going to hit it up with some tons of grit sandpaper. Take off the worst of the marks I've been making like this. And then we'll see about burning it, which is, like, far too exciting. That'll do me. So, just to go over what I did again, give this a little work towel. I took a file, a sheep and nasty file, and we profiled and thinned the blade out. Now, I don't think I got it to 20, I've got to be honest, but I think I probably got it nearly enough 22, 25. It's thinner than it was. I mean, it's like nice. And then just the, the coarse edge that the file left, I just Gave it a little polish with some wet and dry on a block, you can see. So, let's go burn the handle. Never done this before, let's see how it turns out. That's pretty good. I mean, it's a bit burnt around there, but I'll just give it a sand and then it'll be ready for the oil. Pretty pleased with that. Look at that, that's beautiful. So I've come in, I've just give the handle a burn to pop the grain out. I've got a little bit much in a couple of places, like there. I'm just going to give it a bit of a sand down with 100 grit and then we'll give it an oil. But all in all, I'm quite pleased with that. 
as the edge we put on. Actually, this handle's bloody hot, so I'm going to stop. Pull glove on because it's hot, because, you know, sensitive skin and all that. See those bits that I think I've done a bit much? Just going to hit them up. This bit is a bit burnt, so... Lighten that up there. I must admit, I saw, what's that YouTuber? Oh yeah, Billy Ray, great axe man. His axe builds are phenomenal. This is like nothing to that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave the end quite burnt because I think it looks cool. And uh, let's get some oil on it. Scalpel nurse, scalpel. Right, so. Get some man. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at that already. The transformation there. Oh, that's amazing. Got a little bit much here. Get that there. I quite like just putting it on glove. It's tactile, but look, look at that. How organic and great does that look? Looks like it's 100 years old. Okay. Let's get the lid on that. Not that go everywhere. Got plenty here. So I'm going to do two or three coats on this and then it all the head. But look at that. Look how that transformed a blonde, boring bit of hickory into something really nice. Get back to you in a minute guys. Okay, so I'm hitting it with the sandpaper again. That's all going to do. Hitting it with the sandpaper again just to fluff up the grain and I'll give it another coat and I'll probably do that three times, four times basically till the wood stops or fluff and ready so basically till the wood stops drinking after the first coat which I like to put on my hair I just use a rag And then you can really work that in. Get that off the table. Get the end. That works a bit off centre, but I have zero doubts that that is never coming off. This handle is still warm, and I did that burning about. 15 minutes ago? I think that's probably why. Okay. One more coat, then I think we'll get some glamour shots, as Owen would say. A little bit dark there. So, the oil I'm using is Danish oil. I've always used linseed oil, not boiled linseed oil, because all the stuff they put in it to help it dry is a bit crap, really. I mean, you can use it if you want. My granddad used it his whole life, it didn't really hurt him, other than the fact he had hands of a thousand year old. But I think the Danish oil just helps it get a bit darker. And a bit of a finish. So, look at that. From a boring blonde bit of hickory. Right guys, I'm going to finish this up and then we'll have a little chat as I get some hero shots. Right, right, just to wrap it up. So basically this is the um, Hold Force HY20. As I say, I meant to order the HY10 
So that's why I thought I'd use this as a bit of a project act, maybe for a giveaway or a gift to someone. Um, it's a nice axe. All, all I did was just tidy it up. It comes pretty good. Handle's a bit thick. So all we did was thinned out the edge with the file. Handle's a bit thick. So all we did was I just used the back of my mower knife to scrape it down. Could do a little bit more, but I think that's pretty good. It's 10 times better than it was. And then to pop the grain out, we just burnt it with a blowtorch. This is where a cheap one off Amazon. I think I paid, 10, I think I bid on this and got it like 10 pound, 10 pound, 12 bucks, something like that. And then while it was still warm, we gave it a quick sand with some 60 grit, no, 100 grit sandpaper. Then we gave it three coats of Danish oil. Three coats of Danish oil, sand in with 100 grit between each coat. And I think it went in better because the wood was still warm. I might think about doing that next time on handle, just warm it up. Because the wood, it goes in fantastic. And it's like glass, it's lovely. It's not glass in a slippy way, it's sort of like glass, smooth, but there's still plenty of texture there. So, there it is. Oh, sharpen the edge with a file. Then we just got a block and we put some 400 grit wet and dry, then 800 grit wet and dry. A little bit of that's UB40, WD40. That's an old person's joke there. And gave the edge a bit of a polish. And yeah, there we go. This is an easy project. Guys, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Um, I recommend it. Pick up an archie cheap axe. Pick up a cheap Chinese axe and just do this. It's just such fun. I wasn't going to do anything this Sunday because it worked all week. I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I did. Because the weather was shit and I couldn't get into the woods. I'm so glad I did this. There it is. I'll put some pictures of it up on Instagram. Thanks for tagging along this far. Bye-bye.